top U.S. military commander in Afghanistan says the number of American casualties in and around Afghanistan likely to increase, in particular through the summer and maybe into the fall. In the words of General Stanley McChrystal, quote, we are pressuring the enemy and they are reacting to that. Well, since the war in Afghanistan began in October of 2001, just over a thousand Americans have been killed. 163 died in Afghanistan this year, 22 this month alone. Last year, 313 were killed, the deadliest year of the war so far for U.S. troops. President Obama, of course, has ordered more troops into Afghanistan, and many say because of that, the possibility of a further spike in casualties is not hard to imagine. This is one of the last pictures ever taken of Sergeant Brandon Burry. This was just a week ago in Afghanistan, serving with U.S. forces. Last Sunday, two Marines showed up at his parents' home in Texas. They just walked in the back gate, and I just said, please tell me my son is alive. Please tell me he's not dead. And they said, ma'am, we can't tell you that. And I just started screaming, no, no, please, no. Sergeant Burry died along with two other Marines in Hellman Province. With his, the Humvee flipping over, and then him drowning, that's all I kept thinking about was him gasping for air. The Burry's pain of losing a loved one serving in Afghanistan is shared by many others, and U.S. officials say there will be more. By the summer's end, there will be the largest number of U.S. soldiers in the country, 100,000, as ordered by President Obama. In March, the president visited troops in Kabul and explained to them why they're there. And this is the region where the perpetrators of that crime, al-Qaeda, still base their leadership. Plots against our homeland, plots against our allies, Plots against the Afghan and Pakistani people are taking place as we speak right here. And if this region slides backwards, if the Taliban retakes this country, and al-Qaeda can operate with impunity, then more American lives will be at stake. The top commander in Afghanistan, General Stanley McChrystal, asked for a surge in U.S. troops and believes it will work. Can this enemy be defeated? I absolutely, I believe that the insurgency against Afghanistan is not a, uh, a unified, it's not a nationalist movement, it's not respected by the Afghan people as you see in polling and in my discussions, so I think absolutely. But winning a war has come at a great loss to many families, including Sergeant Brandon Burry's, his father now holding on to memories, both big and small, including something as simple as a text message conversation with his son. I think it might be 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm watching some on ESPN. And I go, what do you think I play? And he'll go, awesome. And that would be it. You know, he was like, but we had a bond. Well, General McChrystal says right now troops are expected to begin pulling out of Afghanistan in July of 2011. However, the speed of that drawdown will be determined by conditions 